Good morning. My name is Keith. I'm one of those retired pastors that Pastor Chad shared would be sharing the word of the day occasionally. I will be sharing about prayer this morning. The scripture says, the prayer of faith will save the sick. Jesus was teaching on prayer after he cursed the fig tree and Peter asked him about it. Uh, this is in Mark 11, 23 and 24. And Jesus had this to say about it. He said, Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God for truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast in the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done for him. He will have whatsoever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatsoever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Jesus said, believe in your heart, not in your mind. I've heard it said over the years that the battle is in the mind, and I can believe that. The mind is the battlefield. It's where the battle is fought, but victory is won in the heart. The prayer of faith comes out of the heart. When I'm praying, doubt words will come into my mind, casting a shadow of doubt over my prayer. This scripture is one of those mighty weapons of uh, warfare that the Lord gave us to bring every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Jesus started this verse out with, have faith in God. This verse is not about positive confession. In fact, it has nothing to do with confession at all. It's about faith, faith in your prayer life, the kind of faith that gets our prayers answered, faith in God. Faith in, not faith in what I say, but faith in what God says. Not faith in my prayer even, but faith in what God says. He says the only reason we can have what we say in prayer is not because we say it, but because he says it. He said it before we said it, and because he said it, we have the, uh, the authority, we have the right, and we have the responsibility to say it in faith, believing that he is true to his word. Do not doubt in your heart, but believe, he said. Believe what? Believe that God is faithful to do his work. He will not lie. He will do what he said. He will do as he spoke. I want to share a testimony out of my life that my wife and I experienced using this uh, scripture as the basis for our prayer. My daughter and her husband are in the process of adopting their three grandchildren. These are my great grandchildren. They are from Washington State and are here in Lake Havasu today with their grandparents. They are here, I believe, in answer to prayer based on this scripture. My wife Donna and I were in the audience praying during the court hearings to decide the custody of the children. The hearing was in Washington State. My daughter Sharon was there in Lake, here in Lake Havasu on her cell phone, taking part in the pro proceeds, proceeding. <laughs> uh, during that process, the uh, Washington Child Protective Services, the lawyer and the caseworker for the three children we're all, excuse me, we're all petitioning and encouraging the judge to keep the children in Washington and allow the foster parents to adopt them. Based on this scripture, we were praying while this was going on. A few days before the hearing, the Lord had opened my eyes to just what this scripture was saying. Whosoever, whosoever includes all of us, whosoever does not doubt in his heart, but believes in his heart that those things he says will be done for him, he will have whatsoever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatsoever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive it, and do not doubt in your heart. Again, in your heart, not in your mind. God is faithful and will answer our prayers sent to him out of our conduit of faith. I want to share what my conversation with the Lord was during this prayer. The hearing went on for two or three hours. And during that time, we were praying the whole time from start to finish. And here's what I, I, part of what I was saying to the Lord as we were praying. Lord, I believe in my heart 
that you are true to your word. I have doubt words in my mind right now. I thank you that my mind does not have control over my prayer. My faith is in you, and I believe in my heart that you are true to your word. So I pray, Lord, turn the heart of this judge to order <clears throat> that the kids stay in our family and are sent to Sharon in Arizona for adoption. Now, at the end of the day, when the judge was making the final decision, here's what he had to say. He said, this is the hardest custody case for children I have ever had to decide. And I can tell you for sure, at the start of this case, I definitely was not leaning this way. But after hearing all the evidence, I believe that these children need to stay together as a family, and I am making the decision and so order that they be sent to Arizona to be adopted by their grandparents. Don and I walked out of that courtroom excited, more excited than we, could, we had hardly ever been about the, what the Lord had done. In Hebrews 16, 6, the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And I'll tell you what, I am fully convinced that God is very pleased. In fact, He loves for us to have faith in Him and exercise that faith in our prayer life, trust in Him for the results. Hopefully this has been blessed you as much as it did my wife and I. And I hope it helps you in your prayer life. I hope it builds up your, your faith that, that God will answer your prayers. Thank you for allowing us to share this morning the word of day, the word of the day with you. I pray the Lord will bless you and prosper you in all of your activities this day.